Here's Dr. Phyllis. Thank you. Oh, thank you. On today's show, I'll be mediating two conflicts between invasive species and their counterparts. The invasive species were introduced to these environments years ago and have caused harm. The native plants are often harmed and their positive impact on the area is hindered. The invasive species more often than not cause extensive and expensive damage. Native species have an established niche in the environment that the non-natives have not obtained. Non-natives can throw off niches and entire ecosystems. Our first guests today will be zebra mussels and freshwater mussels that are native to the Great Lakes. Zebra mussels are native to Western Asia and then spread to Europe, making their way to the Americas and were introduced in the mid-1980s. Please give a warm welcome to Zebra and Fresh. Thank you, thank you everyone. Hold your applause. What? You want to take over the TV too? Okay, ladies, let's calm down. Um, we should talk this out. Um, now, who wants to go first? Well, she keeps overtaking my habitat and eating all of my food. Well, I have needs too, you know. Okay, ladies, let's calm down. It's all right. How about we start with what you guys think causes the problems? Well, my grandfather told me a long, long time ago, a European cargo ship dumped some the last water or something into the Great Lakes and Lake St. Clair. And since us females can reproduce up to a million eggs a season, we produce really fast. You see what I mean? They took over everything! Well, Fresh, have you tried to solve the problem for yourself? I talked to my friends, the humans, who try to keep them from spreading. After fishing in infested areas, they clean out their boats, drain the water, dry the boats, and leave the live bait behind. This prevents any of those pests from spreading. I'm not a pest! Um, but obviously that has not seemed to work very well, has it? No. But they also infest the water pipes and cause so much damage to everything. And they even try to fix the pipes, but they're just so expensive. Oh, don't be such a baby about it. I at least have some natural predators. <laughs> yeah, some. <laughs> Well, um, Zebra, tell me about your natural predators. Oh, well, it's mainly just some fish and diving ducks, but there are some of us that they can't, there's so many of us that they can't really deplete our population. We can see that. Fresh, what has been keeping you from fixing the pipes and wiping out the population of zebra mussels? Well, fixing pipes is usually expensive and tedious. But on top of that, every time we put in a new pipe, they just take it over again. Zebra, now... Why is that? We stick to everything and anything, and we repopulate very quickly. We're also extremely small, and we don't take up that much space. Um, what's the average size of your kind? They're only two to four inches. But you aren't much bigger. I am too. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Well, um, after that note, let's move on to our next conflict. Kudzu is an invasive species that has spread throughout Kentucky and many other states. Yellowwood trees have suffered greatly because of the kudzu. Kudzu is native to Japan and to China and was brought over to be ground cover along the highways in the U.S. Now, give a warm welcome to Kudzu and Yellow. Why am I on the show with her? She's just going to hurt me and grow all over me. Well, I have to go somewhere. So? Well, great. Um, ladies, let's take a breather um, and let's settle this diplomatically. Now, Kudzu, what exactly is the issue? Well, people brought me over from Japan and China to be ground cover for along the highways. But I kind of kept growing and growing out of control along everything. I, I didn't mean to. I just like to grow a lot. Well, obviously, I just don't want to die. Yella, what do you mean by that? Kudzu just grows all around me and just chokes me to death. <laughs> oh, well, um, oh, that's not good. Um, are there any ways we can fix this problem? I mean, well, we could just kill it all. What the? No! Okay, um, are there any other solutions? Well, you could use herbicides. But 
It can take up to 10 years to kill me off. What? That's ridiculous! She also grows like a foot per day, which is a huge obstacle. Now, how do you guys think we can fix this problem? Well, like I said, killing her would be the best option, in my opinion. But invasive species have feelings too! Okay, killing is a strong word. Now, how about we find a way to control the kudzu? Well, humans can actually eat kudzu. Don't eat me! 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 I can't eat you, but Phyllis can. Uh -huh. Um, no. No. Um, is there any way, any, uh, humane way to control kudzu? Well, I do have insects that... So you can be killed. Okay, okay, too violent, too quickly, um... Security? Security, can we... Can... Okay, okay, wrong, wrong person. Wrong person, Tiger! Tiger, wrong person! Wrong person! Wrong person! see, um, invasive species cause a lot of problems, and those problems need to be fixed. They cause an off-balance ecosystem. There are 79 non-native plant and animal species that have already cost the U.S. economy $79 billion in damages. We need to work to control these species and bring balance back to our ecosystem. Also, in the future, we need to be more careful about what we bring into our ecosystem. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching the show. And please remember, try not to spread invasive species. Not again! I quit! I'm done! Um, maybe tune in next week for struggling married couples that have moved across the world.